What's going on, world? It's your man St. Uno back again for another one. And in today's video, I'm gonna have a meeting with a marketing agency called The Cool Source to help promote my record label, my artist, really, St. Uno, and um, get some more awareness and exposure and utilize some of this marketing budget that I got from starting my own record label. If you didn't see that video, check it out. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, about to see what the cool source, see what resources they got to offer. And um, you know what I'm saying? Let y'all in on the process. Because this is what record labels do. They hire third-party companies to make their artists lit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm the artist. I'm already lit. But I got to get lit in terms of the, you know what I'm saying, what's important in the world in terms of the attention and the like button and all that kind of shit. So I need a little help in that department. So, you know what I'm saying, ain't gonna, we're going to see what the cool source is talking about, their local agency. I thought about doing some shit online with some niggas from Bangladesh and shit like that, but it seemed kind of sketchy. So I'm just going to fuck with some niggas in the A. Switch my emails to my business email so they know I'm about business. I had it on the same Uno email. Hey, Nigel. How you doing? Hi, Gerard. How you doing? Doing good. Doing good. Have we have we spoke before? Not that I'm aware of. No. Okay, sorry, you, you look very familiar and, and run a very similar business to who I'm thinking of, so I don't know. Okay, <laughs> but, well, we might have, possibly, I don't know, I, yeah. I, I do things. So. It, it was a while ago, so, so maybe, I don't know, maybe things have changed, but um, I appreciate you taking the time to meet with me. Um, I was just going to get kind of a, a more kind of holistic um, you know, view of what you got going on and see if we'd be a good fit for you. Okay, right. So um, the reason why I'm actually reaching out is so I do have a, a, a company as you can imagine, um, a means of production. That's my actual video production slash social media marketing company. But as speaking for myself, I'm an artist as well. So that's really what I'm looking to um, work with the cool source in terms of getting marketing and exposure. Specifically, I have a YouTube channel. Um, I do content creation in addition to my music. And I used to be in a scenario where I actually was able to run my own ads, but I, I took some time off and it got, I don't know, it's like seems way more complicated than I remember it being. So just, um, I know you guys offer a lot of services, but um, I'm probably not in need of all of that. Mainly, like I said, it's more so just to run Google ads on certain YouTube videos, whether that be music videos or just general content videos. And um, also just hear what else you guys offer. But that's that's the one thing I know I need for sure. So do you guys work with artists or is it kind of just strictly just businesses and stuff? We do, um, depending on kind of what they're needing. So like for instance, running YouTube ads, that, that would be no problem. What we try to kind of stray away from is like running social media for artists and stuff like that, just because it's such a more personal yeah. kind of turnaround type, type situation. So when we've tried to do it in the past, it just hasn't really been the best fit, but um, doing things like promoting your channel and stuff like that, that absolutely. Okay, perfect. Yeah, like I said, so I do social media. So yeah, I'm, I I have all the actual content creation down pat. It's more so just the actual back end of like running Google at like, it's just, yeah. it's just not my Making brain. Making sure, the... yeah, you know, using your ad budget to the best of its ability, making adjustments stuff like that i got you exactly. um, what's the name of your youtube channel uh it's saint s-a-i-n-t u-n-o-a-t-l perfect okay i'll have to take a look at that later um okay cool but yeah i mean as far as kind of running advertising um what's your main goal with the ads is it to gain more subscribers gain more views um push them to your main kind of business or tell me a little bit about that yeah it's really just to grow my youtube channel on um, my subscriber base there um that's that's the main object objective because um i want to get to a point where i'm eventually monetized um i have around 600 or so subscribers now i know it takes a thousand i think i have enough watch time but um there are just certain videos that um, I know I have like a core audience who kind of tunes in for kind of the regular stuff I do, but every now and then I'll do kind of like stunt videos. I, I don't know what really to call it, but things that I, I know will kind of appeal to the masses that I will want to kind of break out of my traditional um, audience, whether that be a music video or like I said, 
um, you know what I'm saying, something more behind the scenes or something like that. So just being able to get that and pump that out to raise exposure on the channel. Um, yeah, I just wanna work, cause I've worked with like content creators to promote my channel in the past, but um, I'm, I'm trying to see what an actual agency can do, you know, so. Yeah, no, definitely, okay. Uh, that makes sense, um, I'm a huge YouTube guy. I'd probably watch more YouTube than, than anything. Um, so I definitely yeah. get, you know, trying to catch that, that spark and that growth. Um, okay, uh, let me ask you this, as far as like a monthly budget goes, do you have anything in mind that they are kind of looking to stay under? Um, so I've never worked with an agency, so I have, now I have worked for an agency doing digital marketing, and I know we worked with like a lot of companies, so their budget was like way more than what I can afford. Um, yeah. yeah, I was hoping more so you guys had like a introductory rate or something like that, but realistically, me speaking, I wouldn't be able to dedicate more than like a couple hundred a month to it. Is that even within the realm of possibility of working with you all or? Um, to be honest, not really. Um, typically what I talk, kind of recommend is people to have about 1500 per month, um, to get started with us. Cause that would be enough to essentially cover our fee as well as give you enough ad spend to, um, really kind of track progress, see if there's growth, um, without, you know, if you do kind of a hundred, hundred fifty dollars a month, it's a little bit difficult to see what's working and what's not just because you're kind of so narrow um in your campaigns uh -huh. um so yeah that's that's typically um right around where people you know it's kind of our entry point is about 1500 a month okay so but would that would include the money it wouldn't be like 1500 and then spending on the ads that includes the actual ad spend in the 1500 correct um so okay. so our minimum fee per month is 700 okay got um, you. so with 1500 it would give you you know about 800 dollars a month in actual ad spend plus it would cover our fee okay so that's kind of that's kind of what i was getting towards in terms of like a couple hundred like i okay. i didn't know it was all inclusive so um that that could be something that I could that i could work with for sure okay perfect yeah and, and kind of the reason we do it like that is we do it a little bit different than some agencies. When we send you an invoice, we invoice you for the ad spend as well as our fee. And the reason we do that is we run all of the ads off our own card to where for whatever reason we make a mistake and we accidentally overspend for a month instead of it, you know, coming off your card and, and being a surprise that that's a mistake on our part and we kind of just eat it, <laughs> you know? So okay. that, that's kind of the reason we, we do it that way. Okay, cool. Another thing is, do you guys have, because I've, I've spoken with a couple of different um, agencies, do you guys have like a, uh, what is it, like a like a commitment in terms of like month, or is it going to be like a month-to-month -month basis where it's like, I can do it for, or is it like a contract like on a year or something like that? So we work on a month-to-month -month basis. Um, okay. We don't have any long-term contracts. The only thing in our contract that it says is um, we just ask for 30 days um, notice to cancellation. Um, okay. So we don't like to have people feel like they're handcuffed to us or anything like that. And we've been doing it for years and have had a good retention rate. So we've never seen really a need to do a long-term contract. Okay. Yeah. Cause I, yeah, that, that, that kind of scares people away. <laughs> people have like 12 yeah, month yeah. commitment. Like, I don't, I want to see how it's going to work first. So 30 days notice, yeah. um, that is doable. Um, I had another question, but it kind of just flew out of my head. Maybe if we just talk a little more, it'll come back, but. Did have yeah. like one more question. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, it's pretty simple process for us. Um, essentially, you know, just say you want to get started. That was my question. What's the, what's the process okay. look like to get started? Yeah, there <laughs> <Got> we go. <laughs> um, so yeah, we basically would send you that contract, which like I said, is more of an agreement, just kind of shows our deliverables and, and stuff like that. Um, get that signed, send you the first invoice. Once we get that paid, we set up an onboarding meeting with you and our creative as well as paid advertising team. Um, and essentially in that meeting, we just go through all the nitty gritty details that help us kind of form that initial strategy. Um, after that meeting, give us about a week, two weeks to kind of set up that strategy and then we'll present it to you and have you approve it before we you know get started or run anything. Um, and what we typically like to do is run that initial strategy for about 30 to 60 days to where we get enough data to see, okay, you know, Maybe this part of the strategy is working great, but this part isn't doing what we're thinking. Let's make some adjustments there. 
and we kind of do that optimization um, in that 30 to 60 days. And then from there, month over month, we keep up with campaigns, make sure that they're performing the way we're looking for, making you know any adjustments that we see fit, um, as well as we meet with you monthly to kind of show you exactly how everything's doing. So we'll show you how many impressions you're getting, how many clicks you're getting, if you're getting subscribers, stuff like that. Um, additionally, one thing that we do that some agencies um, that you speak with might not is we provide you with a 360 analytics dashboard. So at any point in time, you can log into that dashboard and see exactly how your digital marketing is performing across your social media pages, your ads. Um, you have all of that data um, available to you. So we like to be super transparent with how things are going. Um, what we like to say is, you know, if something's not working for you, we want to know. We don't want to kind of bury it or skip over it. We want, you know, in our eyes, it might be going great, but you may be saying, hey, I'm only getting a subscriber a week. We need to change something up. Um, so, yeah, we like to be super transparent, work with you, um, and kind of make sure that we're achieving the goals that you're looking for. Okay, great. And I guess um, the last question would be, so with that, like, 1,500 rate, would that be exclusively for YouTube or would that be for like ads, let's say on like social media and stuff like that? Like, is it more of an across the board? Um, Cause I know I've typically, I typically only do YouTube ads, but I would like to grow Instagram and things as well as that nature. So would that be an additional charge or is that kind of all inclusive for like all ads? So that is all inclusive for all ads. Um, what I do tell people is it more so kind of depends on your ad spend. Um, right. Is it because it will cut my ad spend ad. in half? Like if I'm doing some on YouTube and some on Instagram, obviously. But um, I'm thinking yeah. maybe just two platforms, no more than that, um, for sure. But yeah. Okay. But yeah, yeah. That, that essentially is how it goes. And then you know, in the future, if you're seeing a lot of success, you want to you know raise your ad spend and try different platforms. We're we're completely open to that. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Cool. Well. What I can do, Nigel, is I'll, um, I'll put together kind of a proposal, just highlighting all the numbers and everything that we just talked about. Um, and I'll get that sent over to you and, and give you a couple days to review it. And then we can kind of reconvene and, and see your thoughts and see if there's anything we need to address. All right. That sounds good to me. I'll be looking forward to that. Okay, great. Well, you have a good one. And uh, yeah, we'll be in touch. Yeah, you as well. Thank you, Gerard. Nice meeting you. And just like that, we may or may not have an ad agency. They're talking about 1500 a month, though. Of course, that was more than I was looking to spend, but that's like always the case. Rarely do you go into something and it's like, oh, I wanted to spend this. And it's like, oh, really? It's less than... So, like, I get it. They're, a, they're an agency. And like I said, I was going to hire some niggas in Bangladesh on Upwork on some shit, but... Ah, uh, shit be seeming kind of scary. I didn't, I didn't seen other people do that, and then I read a couple of reviews, and I'm like, man, I'm trying to. Like, you get what you pay for, you know what I'm saying? That that is a real thing. So, you know what I'm saying? If you want real growth, real exposure, on, uh, and you got real confidence and belief in what you got to present to the world, and know that it's going to be well received, you know what I'm saying? You got to put your money where your mouth is. You know what I'm saying? We on that Taurus Gemini cuts, Taurus money, Gemini mouth. You know what I'm saying? So I, I got to goddamn put my money where my mouth is to a certain extent. So. Uh, we're going to sleep on it. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see. You know what I'm saying? That's, it's not um, impossible. You know what I'm saying? And this is my life purpose. So, goddamn, is any budget too much or too little? And I do like the fact, too, that it's not it's not a, uh, it's not not like a year-long commitment. So, if it's month, I can do it for three months. If it ain't talking about shit, I can just get rid of them niggas. You know what I'm saying? So, um... Yeah, I'm overall I'm 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 a uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked. So I'll keep you guys posted on the status of this marketing budget and growing the label Clergy Cartel to reach the moon. I appreciate y'all for watching and I catch you on the next one. Peace.